Power of God is alive and powerful, sharper than any two edged sword, piercing even to the dividing asunder of the soul and the spirit and the joints and the marrow, and it is a critic of thoughts and intents of the heart. All scripture is God breathed and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness, that the man of God might be mature, thoroughly furnished unto all good works. Straight to show thyself approved unto God a workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. In answering back concerning to the points raised by Good News Mission, Oksak Park, the way he tells that after sanctification, that is what Hebrews 10.10, 10, you can follow multiple sex partners and followed by drunkenness and other things of your immortality. This is what, dear brethren, I am answering back, telling to him, telling to the point, to approach the Holy of the Holies in the Old Testament time, Nazarites were being made pure. They were being kept to a point that until and unless they could approach with the purity, they were not even allowed to drink wine. They were not even allowed to do the things. They were not even being there to kept apart. Like John the Baptist, why he has been recorded in the Bible because of his great Nazarite ship woe. In fact, even the Samson, why he has been recorded in the Bible because of his great Nazarite ship woe. Maybe after his Nazarite ship woe, he was not been enlightened so much because of the ministry of his drinking. But when you come to the point of John the Baptist, he was a man with responsibility upon his shoulders. In fact, he was such a kind of a man, even at the death of his Father, you didn't go to the burial. Why I'm telling to you all about the Nazarite woe, and why I'm not telling to you all about the things concerning to this thing now in the church age, because in the church age we do not have Nazarites. Oh, you are right. But the point is to approach the Holy of the Holies, which was in the middle, which was in the third part of the tabernacle. They used to be so much pure. But now that tabernacle, that Shekinah, which has been indwelt between the cherubs, indwells between you and me in this church age. That's why Mr. Oxak Park of the Korean founder of Good News Mission should understand to the point that when Lord God the Father, Lord God the Son, and Lord God the Holy Spirit indwells in you, when the Nazarites were making themselves pure to approach that Holy of the Holies once in a year, how much more you and I ought to be when Lord God the Father indwells in us, when this Shekinah comes in you and me as a believer, irrespective of your carnality, the claims that you're claiming to us to link to the point that you are sanctified once and for all, and you can do whatever you did and whatever you feel and you are no more no more a sinner of course you are no more a sinner because you believe in the lord but your unrighteousness deeds of your suffering for punitive realm will definitely have an impact in the spiritual life dear brethren that is what i'm intended to tell to you all because first corinthians 2 tells to us very clearly concerning the spiritual things these things we also speak in verse 13 not in words which man's wisdom teaches but which the holy spirit teaches to us comparing spiritual things with spiritual now the shekinah being indwelt in us like lord jesus christ who indwells in us the greatest invisible power given for us the indwelling trinity when Lord and Savior Jesus Christ indwells in us, then only you will realize what is the power of Shekinah. When that power of Shekinah indwells in you, he is with a purpose, he is with, he is with a destiny. So when this Shekinah was been there among the Old Testament time, they would have been so much pure to enter into the Holy of the Holies of all time. Even the high priest, once in a year, he would approach with the sins of him himself and the sins of of the entire Israelites. So dear brethren, when that Shekinah was being present there, it was a dreadful thing for them to enter into there if they were not pure. So now this Shekinah being indwelt in you, are you not having fear of the Lord in you? And the way you proclaim to link to the point that drunkenness has been allowed, that sexual immortality has been allowed? No way, no chance at all, dear brethren. You need to understand these concepts. You need to look these points of view again and again. When Lord God the Father, Lord God the Son, and Lord God the Holy Spirit indwells in you as a Shekinah, and how much more pure now you need to be, even in your thought, word, and deed, you need to be absolutely pure. That's why Lord and Savior Jesus Christ told to that people who were listening to his words, telling you the point, if you look at a married woman adulterately, you have already been committed and that would be a great sin for you and for me if you even ever imagine think of having other man's wife as your wife because Lord has told already when you see a woman with a lustful eyes as the KJV but the accurate translation says for you when you see like an adultery vision for a married woman you have already committed adultery into your heart if Lord was not pertaining to that purity then why he would have told to you that after sanctification you carry on with your sexual immortality which is very wrong 
strong. So Oxak Park, correct your teachings. Learn to know. Since you are a believer in the Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, if you really have the importance about this indwelling ministry of Lord God, the Holy Spirit, that is what Lord Jesus Christ being indwelling in you as a Shekinah, to approach that Shekinah, people would purify themselves many a times. But now being indwelt in us, you need to purify yourself and our body many a time so that we could be blameless in flesh as well as in spirit. Since the world mind cannot understand, that is the natural mind or the soulish mind cannot understand or receive the things of the Spirit of God, their foolishness to him may be listening to this step. It may be foolishness for you, telling to the point of Hebrews 10, 10, they are being sanctified and how is it that I can not be saved though I sin. You will be saved. You are being saved. Your eternal salvation is secured. But that doesn't mean that you are having a maximum glorification nor the highest value of regards towards the world. So what you need to do, you need to give top priority for doctrine. You need to give top priority for the sanctification work so that you can work out the own redemption which has been bestowed upon you. The own redemption of your salvation life of this unique spiritual one of your spiritual resurrection. That is what I need to ask you again and again to link to the point of Hebrews of 1 Corinthians 2, 13 through 16, which says to us, these things we also speak not in words which man's wisdom teaches, but with the Holy Spirit teaches, comparing spiritual things with spiritual. But the natural man does not receive the things of the Spirit of God, for they are foolishness to him, nor can he know them, because they are spiritually discerned. But he who is spiritually judges all things, and he himself is rightly judged by no one. For who has known the mind of the Lord, that he may instruct him? But we have the mind of Christ, so that by looking unto the mind of Christ, and looking unto the spiritual things towards the spiritual realm, we can have a proper application and the use of this unique spiritual life of all time, a unique spiritual life of this escrow blessings of time as well as for eternity so that we can understand the truth and the truth shall set us free so when we have the mind of Christ when we have his teachings, when we have his layout, when we have his purpose when we have his attitude towards us bestowed graciously unto us to understand the truth, why are we not able to give that reverence and that priority for the word of the Lord many people might have come, might have made an appearance in their realm of their lives, telling to the point we will do this, we will do that. But try to understand, dear brethren, the word of the Lord alone should remove your delusions. The word of the Lord alone should make bare your self-delusions and your moral sophisteries. If apart from word of the Lord, there is no way, and that word of the Lord, if it is not under the controlling power ministry of Lord God, the Holy Spirit, so that you can know and understand spiritual things to be discerned spiritually, and the natural man will consider the teachings of the spirit as foolishness to them because they know them not because they are not spiritually discerned and when will you and I will be spiritually discerned only when you are under the controlling power ministry of Lord God the Holy Spirit when Lord God the Holy Spirit controls you your top priority will be to learn Bible doctrine and when you have a right and true fellowship with the Lord preferably upon your knees asking Lord God the Father to provide you that information Lord is not a man to provide you snake when you ask for the fish or provide you stone when you ask for the bread. How much more you earthly men, fathers know how to feed your children. How much more I, God the Father in heaven, know my dearly beloved spiritual children to be fed with the doctrine. But what does it require? It requires a right and true fellowship with the Lord. It requires an upright heart. It requires those things that Lord directs your heart so that the more we learn the truth, the more the truth will be setting us free. But since we do not want to flee from our youthful lusts, that is the lust pattern of our sinful nature, we propagate all such kind of an emotion, dancing, drunkenness, or in fact even multiple sex partners. So dear brethren, this theory is very wrong. This doctrine is very wrong. The only thing which you need to understand, go back and check in the doctrinal realm and correct those things only when you rebound. Rebound is 1 John 1 9. This is a key way that you get back into fellowship because many people have come up with their doctrines with their thoughts with their understanding by paying penance by paying guilt by having a fear of your own eternal status quo you can get back to rebound no way rebound is a grace provision rebound is a point where with you confess your sins through 1 john 1 9 so that lord god the father 
makes you to a point to be understood that Lord God the Father gives you an understanding for you that you are in the divine dinosphere that Lord God the Holy Spirit controls you and gives you and tells you to learn doctrine this is the way how rebound works this is a great provision through 1 John 1 9 and Ephesians 5 18 B which is an imperative mood to be always constantly filled of the Spirit takes you to learn you and give you the spiritual phenomena if you are not able to follow this rule and the procedure no matter being a believer that is after believing in the Lord and Savior when your when your trichotomous nature gets activated there's an activity demon spirit then only this controlling power ministry being indwelt energizes in return your human spirit so that in return your human spirit can control your mind and when it has been controlled you are going to get every thought into captivity for Christ and when you're getting every thought into captivity for Christ then you will express in an overt image the inner intrinsic nature of Christ in you only when you have doctrine in your mind so you have been told for who has known the mind of the Lord that he may instruct him but we have the mind of Christ the mind of Christ to be understood only when the Holy Spirit teaches comparing spiritual things with spiritual but for a natural man they do not receive these things nor the Spirit of God because they are foolishness to him so which way you correct dear brethren that is left to you but it has been a humble plea and earnest appeal for me though you are contemporary to me in this era the points which I am telling to you not only for Christadelphians or this good news mission like this Oak Soak Park or in fact even Jehovah Witnesses are the one who are there in the Christendom realm of Christianity cults, not able to rightly divide the truth, but having their own self-delusion and moral sophistries, not able to realize the vain argument, the vain speculations, the vain craftiness and the clever things, ultimately when being faced with the reality of the truth of knowledge of Bible doctrine under the controlling power ministry of Lord God, the Holy Spirit will definitely yield them wooden and stubble in their judgment seat. So keeping this in mind, know the doctrine, learn exegesis, learn isagogical, learn categorical study and learn the dispensing technique which is dispensation to shed light for Tizo because the root of ignorance of dispensational doctrine has caused many people to rise such kind of an errors. That's why no importance for the mystery doctrine of the church age. That's why no importance for the unique spiritual life. That's why no importance for the use of Baya where with you have been called. Many people are not even aware that they have an escrow blessings for time as well as for eternity. Escrow blessings for time which includes the traits of desiring for truth, love for God, in fact, even incredible stability, strength of your character through Bible doctrine, your perseverance to learn more character, to learn Bible doctrine, motivation to learn doctrine, momentum in learning doctrine, and happiness and being occupation with Christ to learn doctrine. Since you do not really have this love and occupation, since you are not aware that your unique spiritual life contains spiritual self-esteem, spiritual autonomy, and spiritual maturity, followed by these things, when you pass down evidence testing either by one of the two, which you get towards life or towards God, then you will have that maximum glorification unto Christ. Christ. The more you neglect, the more you reject, the more you are not aware of these things, Lord help you, because Lord is not a partiality man to tell at the judgment seat of Christ, Oak Sok Park was not aware of this. No, in fact, even every believer is not able to plead ignorance of the judgment seat of Christ because that believer has been indwelt by the Trinity and Ladgar the Holy Spirit is the only key factor for them to make them to know and to understand that there are no way to have this ignorance to be pleaded that's why apostle paul was very clear in first corinthians 2 16 telling to the point 3 16 telling to the point know you not you fools that your body has been indwelt by the trinity and lord god the holy spirit is the one who reigns in you he would have given instruction for you but you since you do not have your right and true heart or true faith you have failed to know the shekinah importance as well and thus you have adulterated your body and made it a blameful in spirit as well as in body that should not be a result for you at the judgment seat of christ so which way you take whether it is an exhortation or a warning or a correction or a training take it but I am telling to you one way as a believer in the Lord go with the teaching ministry of Lord God the Holy Spirit because it is Lord God the Holy Spirit alone which teaches to you comparing spiritual things with spiritual and your spiritual discernment as a believer in Christ not apart like Zachary Mayak you as a believer can correct and if you're having lust pattern to be loud still then Lord help you but without that lust pattern you may fail to correct but we need to sacrifice our lust pattern because we have been here given the gift of a bona fide realm to a male believer as a pastor teacher kept upon the responsibility upon our shoulders in rightly dividing the truth Lord help you and your journey when we get back in the heaven to meet and to look out 
what was your fault and what was my fault. But until and unless you have to use this equal privilege and equal opportunity, Lord knows how well to use you. And if you're not there, Lord knows how well to put you there where you can correct yourselves and get back from the snare of evil so that you can come back and know the truth and the truth shall set you free. Before it could be too late, today is the time for you to get back, to give top priority for the controlling power ministry of Lord God, the Holy Spirit, so that the spiritual things could be discerned in the spiritual realm. So Father, we are grateful for the privilege that you given to us to fellowship with you through thy word. We pray such kind of a things of these cults when they're not able to understand the word, give them the enlightenment ministry of Lord God, the Holy Spirit, when they confess their sins through rebound, so that the controlling power ministry of Lord God, the Holy Spirit, and accurate teaching of right pastor teacher could lead them out of their error, the error of moral sophisteries and self-delusion, and make them incisive to learn the word of the truth more accurately, categorically, isagogically, and exegetically, telling to the point of such that we are here to give top priority through your word for dispensations and for your maximum glorification of Christ. To this extent, we pray in the name of King of kings and Lord of lords, even Lord Jesus Christ, our Savior, for we ask in Christ's name, Father. Amen.